All right, welcome everybody. My name is Matt, and this is the Gaming Corner. Today, as you can see, it is dark in my house because I do have to record this stuff at night because I do work third shift, so I can't talk as loud as normal. But today, we are going to review a Genesis game that I just got recently. After seeing some other people reviewing the game and putting it in the rating systems for like the worst games on the Genesis. It made me want to buy it because I had to see how bad it was. And that game is Justice League Task Force. This is a fighting game. My copy is complete in box with manual and cartridge. I have been trying this out a little bit already and so far I'm pretty impressed with the game. Now, when I was looking up ratings for the game, I did find a Wikipedia page, if I said that right, where out of a, from a 1 to 10, it's got a 5.8, so basically a 6 star rating. Most people who rate this game give it for poor, poor controls, choppy animations, um, hard to pull off the special moves and everything. So I decided I had to check it on out. Now, a couple things I did notice when I was playing it myself was I've been testing out massively this controller right here, which is a Retro Fighters, if it shows up on there. Retro Fighters Brawler Gen. This thing works on the Genesis and on the Sega Saturn. About ready to do my review on here, but I did notice one thing when playing Task Force is that the C button is really delayed in that game. So when I play it this time to show a little bit of gameplay for you, I'm going to run it with the actual Genesis controller. So what have I seen in the game so far? One, large sprites, very nicely done graphics. Music wise, eh, it leaves something to be um, considered. You, I also, kind of feel this is a precursor to the Injustice Gods Among Us. I know it's not made by the same team, but a lot of the moves in here are the same. The Flash has his one where he'll get you guys spinning as he runs off the screen and comes from the other side and smacks you. Um, you know, naturally Green Arrow has his bow and arrow. It's done the exact same way it is on Injustice Gods Among Us. So, without further ado... Let's put this in and take a look. All right, so here we go. Claim Entertainment Justice League Task Force. So you think this game should be pretty good with the fact that Claim did most of the Mortal Kombat stuff. Sunsoft is also part of the developing team in here. Alright, so first things I will mention is that, or will note, the game is very difficult. So I'm going to drop this down to easy. And it's one thing that it's very, very difficult in this game. And I am a Green Arrow fan, so we'll go Green Arrow. Dark Side declares war on the Earth. Get some little cinemas here. Dark Side's opening attack on Earth took the whole world by surprise. But that alien fiend's plans won't go unstopped. I'll have to act fast to prevent Earth from being turned into a planet of slaves. I'm going to need the help from the Justice League. That's the way Green Arrow sounds in case you want to know. Ooh, look, it's Fat Man and Batman. I want to see if C works any better on this thing. Yeah, it does. Hmm. All I know for um, Green Arrow's moves is his arrow. Fat Man's kicking my butt. Come on, Fat Man, stop it. Ooh. Batman, no! Gotcha, Batman. 
Let's say the sprites are nice. They're large. They're very good. Colors are great, I think. I like the backgrounds. Ooh, Batman got hit in the belly. Ooh, hit him again. I don't know any other moves with him, though. <laughs> Come on, Batman. Mm, mm. I thought you were good, Batman. Say, sound effects leave a little bit discouraged. Well, this is insanity. Why would a fellow Justice League member attack me for no reason? <laughs> I need to talk with another member of Justice League and find out why they, why, if they know what's going, I just don't get it. <laughs> that was the extra dialogue they left out. Hey, look, it's Pooperman, I mean Superman. Oh, threw him with my big old shtick. Keep that cold breath to yourself, old man. Ooh, super throw. Oh, that that's some that's some major combo hit in there, buddy. Come here. So, what I mean by story-wise, this does seem pretty much like a precursor to Injustice. Two Justice League members attacking me without cause? What's happened to them? They're supposed to be heroes like me. There must be a member of the Justice League somewhere that can explain what's going on. Du -du 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 -du. Flash, help me. Come on, Barry. Barry, no, stop. Barry kicked my ass last time, by the way. Sorry about any noise you're hearing in the background. That happens to be my cat playing in soda boxes. I was hoping he'd do his other move where he gets me to spin around. There it was. I would have been hit by it. Gotcha, Barry. Hit detection's a little awkward, but that's okay. Ooh, right in the face. Ooh, we tried it again, but I had blocked it. Oh, punched him shilly. Oh, I beat up Barry Allen. I'm sorry, Barry. That wasn't a real Justice League member any more than the others were. Something has happened to the real heroes. I can only hope the same thing hasn't happened to the rest of the Justice League. So there you go. That is Justice League Task Force. Now, physically wise, yes, the game is definitely hard. I mean, that was on easy. I made it to Aquaman, and then I got my butt handed to me. Um, the game, if I play it on normal, I can't even get by the first fight. But physically wise, this game is actually really not bad. I mean, sound and music and that, definitely not great. I really don't see much of the choppiness. There are some hitbox issues. What hitboxes are kind of far out. But physically wise, the game's not terrible i mean it's definitely i'd have to say slightly above average so that rating of six definitely is probably accurate um at least for 
green arrow, I know how to shoot off his arrows, those are easy. That is the same thing as Ken and Ryu's fireball, so that's not hard. And it's the same way it's done, at least I believe it's the same way it's done on Injustice 2 and 1. And like I said, this game does kind of feel like a little precursor to that one, because once again, Darkseid's trying to take over, which is what's going on in 2. And physically-wise, yeah, it's, it's a decent fighting game. Uh, if you do look at buying this one, definitely watch the price. I think I paid about 20 or 30 for this one, which to me was fine. But all in all, I at least give the game a slightly above average rating, so about a 6 if I had to rate it. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video here and a little bit of my gameplay showing you what the game actually looks like. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, so I realized in my original recording that just ended that the music and sound effects really didn't show up in the game. Uh, you couldn't hear them. Don't know why. Just double check my system right now and I'm getting the music to come through. So I'm going to let you hear a little bit of the music from by going into the options and playing some of it. So let me go ahead and get that set up real quick and we'll let you guys hear some of the music. So there you go. That was a little bit of the music and the sound effects. Say so they leave something to be rethought of, I guess. Um, definitely not that great. Especially when you hear stuff from like Mortal Kombat. Even Street Fighter has better sound effects and music than that. But there you go. That is Injustice. Or Injustice. That is Justice League Task Force. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video. And... Like I said, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.